Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to the Tyson Sphere program. Where last time, we started and automated our drone world. So we have an entire planet automated and using drones to do literally everything for us. It's wild, it's wacky, and of course, hyper productive. However though, we haven't played this game in like a hot minute, so let's do a quick recap of literally everything. But first, remember to leave a like. So our journey began on Kappa Delphini 3 in the Kappa Delphini system on this what was a nice beautiful green rock. Now it's not so green. Now it's covered in factories, dumpster fires, deuterium factories, and much more. But we always needed more and more production because we have tons of research to do getting all these science cubes so we can unlock all this technology and eventually make a Dyson Sphere. So we expanded across our solar system, built ourselves our first forge world here that will be making and sending out all of our Dyson Sphere parts into our star. And then in preparation to take over the entire galaxy and get all of its resources, we built a logistics world on Kappa Delphini 4 here. So we can go about other solar systems, gather up literally everything, and never worry about running out of resources again. Which led us to our second solar system, Beta Geminorum. Way, 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 way over here where we quickly made a new logistics world covered in renewable power to power the rest of the solar system, then used that power to get all of the resources from all the planets, brought them to our factory world here, and then once the goods are sophisticated enough, we ship them back to the home system. And everything eventually ends up here, where we launch all the finished goods into the sun to make our Dyson Sphere. Cool? Cool. And that is our plan today, to actually start on the Dyson Sphere. And that brings us back here. So the entire playlist link will be in the description, but I'm going to assume you've watched all the videos and know what else is going on, and we are gonna get moving and grooving. Number one, we have a super huge problem I've realized. We need significantly more coal, because last time we built a super massive oil setup, and we can't even run it because we're completely out of the stuff. Or should I say energetic graphite, but it's pretty much the same thing. It's like smelted coal. Though we should be getting a ton of it from the previous oil setup stuff, because when you crack the oil down and then crack it again with x-ray cracking, you end up with hydrogen and the energetic graphite. But because of how big we built our system, all of the oil and the hydrogen is going to make other random stuff, and none of it is overflowing to this part. So no coal from there, and we're not getting enough coal from our other worlds either. But real question is why? We have multiple worlds, exactly. Why do we not have more coal coming here? Why are there any ships in the coal bay that are just sitting around? Everything needs coal. We must investigate. So what's going on, Coal World? Beta Geminorum 2. We automated all the resources on this planet so we can scoop it all up and send it to the Forge World. So I don't understand why there isn't any more coal. There is no way we ran out. There's freaking 17 million coal here. What is the holdup? Where's the bottleneck? Is it here? No. Oh, I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Wait, power? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. The planet's not powered enough. Okay. Is... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so scared to look. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So, that explains a lot. Oh, but wait a second. That's because we're not getting batteries here. Where are my freaking batteries? Hello? Oh, wait, I know what's going on. It's our little drones. They're hungry. So hungry, in fact, all the spare batteries in this entire system are coming here to try and desperately feed this place. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. So whatever batteries exist are always ending up here. By the way, again, a little bit of recap, but we bring charged batteries and uncharge them at different planets, and that's how we transfer power from world to world. Oh, but hold up though. What if we do have enough batteries? Because I think we should. We've automated batteries for like ever. What if it's a problem of not having enough power over here? Because Beta Geminorum 1 is our power world right now. And it's just running off of like solar and wind. Let me tell you, it makes a lot. But is it just not enough anymore? Oh gosh, that is not a big enough number there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charge rate is like only a little bit because we don't have enough power. Ooh, 
bud. Yeah, we have plenty of empty batteries. We just don't have enough power. Oh boy. Well, then I guess it's time. We have to upgrade from the basic renewables of solar panels and wind turbines and get nuclear, brother. We gotta get some mini fusion power plants built over here. These bad boys take deuterium fuel rods and they absolutely will have enough power. Okay. <laughs> Of course, there's a problem with that, is that we need deuterium fuel rods. Deuterium fuel rods are super hyper advanced, and all of our advanced stuff is going back to our home solar system. And if all the stuff we need is in our home system, well then I guess we'll just automate the fusion power rod things over on our logistics world. Oof. So now, if we automate the fusion rods here, our deuterium rods, sorry, then we can ship them off to all the other solar systems in the universe and be set on power forever. So, although we have a pretty big problem, it will set us up for a super permanent solution. All right, cool, cool, cool. And look at this. Mr. Past Kibbs was already thinking about this. We have it already set up. But why? It needs deuterium? That's the only reason it's not working? Past Kibbs, why didn't you just hook up deuterium? You did. Oh man, it's a mystery wrapped in a riddle. Why are we not getting deuterium here? Because it's not being shipped to this world. What? This planet is our universe's logistic hub. Why we no got deuterium? Hello? Got spicy sticks? Freaking warp drives! And like everything else under the sun, but no deuterium. Okay, well, then I guess we go to our home world of Kappa Delphini 2, and we're just gonna steal a bunch of deuterium from here. Because <laughs> we have a super massive deuterium processing plant, and you better believe we're gonna be able to scoop some from here and send it out. Okay, so uh, you ink some deuterium. It gets processed into the fuel rods. Shipped it over here so we could get some extra power, only to find out it wasn't enough. So I just buckled down, reorganized our entire oil setup, and now we're just making even more deuterium here. Because that little bit of deuterium fuel gave us enough power to kind of do something like this. And oh boy, things are looking good now. So now with all that deuterium, we can make <laughs> a lot of deuterium fuel rods, and that in turn can power a ton of fusion power plants. So now here, we're looking pretty good on power. Not bad, not bad in fact. The batteries are getting charged out the freaking hoazu. In fact, we're out of batteries are being charged so fast. And because of that, we finally have batteries at our coal resource world. And finally, it means we can mine coal and run this entire planet's factories. So yeah, factory games in a nutshell right there for you. <laughs> Oh, but that was seriously important because again, our goal is to start on the Dyson Sphere today. And the main thing for the Dyson Sphere is these graphite or graphene pieces. Because the graphene pieces, along with some like ice cream looking stuff here, is used to make solar sails. The solar sails will make a Dyson Swarm. The Dyson Swarm gets us an insane amount of power and then they'll lead us into the actual Dyson Sphere components. So yeah, with all that extra power, we got graphene for literal days. Graphene, we got the tubed version of it. Like, we got everything everywhere out the wazoo. Power is insane. And brother, we're almost ready to go. Because guess what? We need more science. I want to get these wave function interfaces, quantum chips, and quantum printing tech so we can get the Mark III assemblers, and also, and more importantly, the green science cubes, which need the quantum chips. With the green science cubes, we can upgrade literally everything, make our solar sails way better, and get way more power out of them. And also, we can use the green cubes to make a billion more warpers per minute. Oh. And of course, we're gonna need these vertical launching silos and stress system things and all the future tech very, very, very soon. So green science, big important. So let's start with researching the plane filters, then we'll get the quantum chips ready to go, and that'll lead us to the matrix. What are these things made out of? Wait a second, pink crystals and it looks like high strength glass? Oh bruh, I, I kinda took a bit of a break from this game and I don't remember what we have. Super quick on the home world, do we have high strength glass? <laughs> Your boy passed Kibbs. He knew what was up. We do. All right, let's upgrade that bad boy. We're gonna need that in a second. And the pink crystals, I am certain we have a supply of them on our logistics world. Oh, 
and we got the tech already. Also, being certain is nice, but double checking, right? We can demand these, please. Remote demand from like anywhere? Where's the remote demand? Hello? Why? Is it because this has no ships? This has ships. What is the problem? Oh boy, shouldn't have said I was certain. Please don't tell me we're diving back into the memes. But honestly, we really shouldn't be. Like, I, I really am certain that we have them automated. I remember just doing it and then we're like, oh, we didn't need them, but it's like we're going to. Oh yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Of course we have them. We got a billion of them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And look at this. I put them into the chest here so we can have some extra storage for them. Brother. Oh, that's fantastic. So I just have to set up the logistics drones to bring them back to the other solar system. And then while we're here, what else do we need? Quantum chips. What do you want? You want <laughs> the chips and the wave things. So these we know we can make now. The gold chips. I know for sure, for a fact, a literal fact I just checked. They are back in Kappa Delphini. Oh, okay, actually have the gold chips here. I knew it, totally knew it, 100%. Yep, good, good. So, it's time for memes. We're going to be building factories from now on, like we do on the drone world, where we have an import thing and then the export thing. So drones grab the import stuff, we'll have a little factory in between, exports to another tower, and off go the plane filters, GGEZ. Also, there's been some changes to the game since I last played. Check this out. You can mass delete a huge area now, can you increase this? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can chain delete stuff as well as part of this. Dude, we could literally delete a planet in like 10 seconds flat. That's amazing. Okay, so yeah, extra delete stuff. Very, very cool. Also, there's extra ability stuff. So this is actually a new mod that I got that makes blueprints. So in a similar way, you press the plus sign, you can make this bigger. You make the blueprint. Now I've never actually used this before, but if we press V, I thought that would work. <laughs> oh no, what? So do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It was V, it's just V. One more try, we got this. I don't know what's going on there, but generally speaking, it seems to work. Yeah? Oh, it gets copied as a blueprint there. Oh wow, but you can also rotate? Dude, very cool. Oh, and what the heck? I press C and V, and it seemed to have copied it now. Okay, so it, it does work. It's just a little finicky. I might have to change my controls around to use this properly, though. And it tells you what's stored as well. Interesting. Anyway, cool mod. It copies everything, including the belts and the machines and the recipes, so it's like kind of like all of the mods we had before, all baked into one. I'll figure out how to use it a little bit better, probably as we build this project. For now, let's step one done. So, next step is going to be the quantum chips. Oh, man. Okay, we can use the setup we have here, but this gold chip setup, it ends up going all the way over to here to make like a bunch of our Randy stuff. And this Randy stuff makes like our logistics towers, our drones and all that. So I don't know if I really want to use the supply I built here. We might on it, you know, maybe I just build a new supply. You know what? I think I might do that. I made myself a ton of space. Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah, no. Why would we make a whole new chip build set machine factory when we can just import them from other worlds? Brother. Yeah, exactly. Easy. Easy. So we just import them from the factory world, bring them on in, and boom, we're making quantum chips out the wazoo. We're good to go. Just have to get the stuff for this over to here, and quantum chips a GG. And why did we want those again? Oh yeah, for the green science. And really quick, we're just gonna boop this back in. I'd love to show you more building, but I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not really fully understanding how this copy and paste thing works. Like, I've been trying it out, but like, it's really weird. It's like, did that now copy it? Oh, oh, that now worked. You just click it. I keep pressing C and it opens all the screens. So I guess it's the same thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> well. It's done now anyway, so <laughs> here we are. Uh, yo, just extend the system where all the quantum chips go into one line, and then we need to split them up because we need these quantum chips, both for green cubes here for the warpers and for our science and research stuff. So half of them go into these labs, make the green cubes. These green cubes go to make the warpers and then the other half go to the tower. And this tower takes some, and the opal things, our lenses, over to our lab area to make green cubes for research. The lenses, by the way, are coming from our other system way over here. 
This is our old warper system. So we got all of, like these green tubes being made, the pink tubes being made, da 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 da. Goes down here. All the stuff comes over here now into the new happy-go-lucky system. But then the warpers <laughs> end up going all the way back here and into this tower to be sent all over the galaxy. Main thing is though, science is done skis. And we are good to go. Just gotta get this thing rocking and rolling here. But we seem to still have a problem with the crystals. Oh my freaking goodness, I actually could not believe the amount of nonsense that had to do with those pink crystals. I actually can't believe it. Yeah, remember that coal thing we're doing earlier? You know how we're jumping around the entire universe from solar system to solar system? Yeah, pretty much had one of those problems, but I finally fixed it. It's all good, and the process is automated and running. In fact, it's running extremely, extremely well. Aside from one problem, everything's too slow. These things take forever to build, and we have all the resources we need. Just the machines are so, 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 so slow. And yeah, same kind of dealio with the quantum chips here we just need faster machines so once we get those uh, assembler mark threes brother we are upgrading everything but I'm pretty sure I researched them I have not uh, let's do that and yeah main thing is they are very very expensive they need some crazy wiring and a bunch of other stuff so I doubt we'll have them today maybe in the next episode I'm not sure anyway though everything's finally running we got warpers for days we got green science for days and we have everything being sent to this tower meaning we have green science to research with right Okay, yes. At least this is working today. Thank goodness, man. Yeah, we got green science. We've been building it up a bit. Gonna build it up a lot more. And now we can just fly through all the green science stuff. Uh, main thing I want to do is I quickly want to do something that we've been skipping over. And that is increase our power on this world. So we are right on the cusp of doing Dyson Sphere stuff. Except for that power issue. Luckily, there is a tech that can easily solve it all for us. And... Wait... I think, wait, we already have it. Yeah, we had this automated like a thousand years ago. The gas giant harvesters, or orbital collectors as they're called. Yeah, we automated these like millions of years ago. We have a good set of 40, perfect. And yeah, we can set these up and it will get us infinite deuterium and hydrogen from our neighboring gas giant. Well, actually our local planet here. So let's set them up really quick too. Not sure how they work or if 40 is enough. But hey, that's all we got and the automation wasn't really working right there. So hopefully we're good. Let's see. Well, we got them. Can only be built on the equator. Okay, so we can't just spam these up across the entire world. Sure, fine. I guess that's like a balancing thing. There we go though. Okay, so we'll just get building these and this will get us all the extra hydrogen and stuff we need to make like a billion extra power. You have built an orbital collector. Sir, sir, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I see it. I see it right now. Man, these things look so cool though. Imagine like a space station that looked like this. Bruh. Oh man, awesome. Oh, but yeah, these things are super simple. Automatic orbital collection, easy, no power problems. I don't even have to load ships into this, it doesn't look like. No? Nope. Okay, so I'll just set up uh, ships on the home world demanding hydrogen and deuterium. Wow, so these are literally as easy as I thought. And dude, we have like hydrogen and deuterium forever now. Ah, I, I really regret not setting this up earlier. Dude, it's so simple and it's so much free stuff. Ah, well, done now, so at least we can move on. But now with that, we can get to our final project in the entire playthrough. Actually building the Dyson Sphere and the Dyson Swarm. We have everything prepared. We have a logistics system to get items from across the galaxy. We have all of the machines we pretty much need. We just need to start firing things off. So I did a little bit of a test run here just to see how the cannons worked a little while ago. But now we're gonna set up all of them. And you know what? We're gonna need even more. Dude, we need cannons everywhere just straight up everywhere so we're going to build way 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 more and actually can we copy this let's see we'll keep all the settings please cool there we go and then we click V and that is the wrong thing oh so this makes the selection this copies it to our blueprint board and then we can click it down Okay, I gotcha. Also, you cannot build these very close together at all. 
That's okay, we can just do this then. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, doesn't look like we can fit all too many here. Anyway, we're gonna fill in this space here with more cannons. We're gonna do the same to the other side. I'm not sure about all the space over there. I'll figure it out later. And then for belt work, yeah, we'll just run all the belts in between and split all of the solar sails up to distribute them evenly. So there we go, off to a good start, getting all the belt work done. But it still wasn't enough, so I'm fiddling around with the design a bit. I'm gonna try putting some more cannons over here, and probably on the other side as well. And after fiddling with some design, we got, I think, enough cannons. It's not a crazy amount, maybe there's like a hundred here, but it looks good. The whole planet's design here is to try and look like a Death Star or like a battle station. So, yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. Once the cannons start firing, it's gonna be like blah, 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 blah. It's gonna look awesome. The planet will just turn towards the sun and then boom. It's gonna be crazy, crazy. Super hyped for that. And we're pretty much ready. Is there really anything else I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to set orbits. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Wait, I think past kids already did this. What is going on? Oh, oh, so you just click add orbit and off we go. So I just did this a couple of times, easy. And then the Dyson shell, we can't really mess with today. We don't have that all set up just yet. But yeah, I usually deal with a lot of the boops in the background work during my live streams. So I guess I'd set the orbits while I was live. Seems pretty straightforward though, yeah. And you can edit the orbits as well. Interesting. <laughs> Too close to a planet orbit? Sounds like a good time. Wait, so is this our whole solar system? Hold up. It's a huge radius, but it can't be like the whole orbit. Oh my gosh, and you could probably make some crazy designs with this. Uh, we're just gonna stick with like the automatic, like what the game's telling us to do thing, because this looks pretty random and crazy. So GG past Kibbs, well played. Okay, so with the orbit set, I set all the cannons as well. And brother, we're just ready to fire. We can begin our conquering of the sun. All we have to do is hook that up. Beautiful. And super, 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 super quickly hook the other side up. Come on, brother. There we go. And the cannons start shooting. Oh yeah, let's go. Finally, after a hundred hours, the late show begins. <laughs> They're <laughs> kind of firing all over the place. I kind of thought this would be like one big laser, but no, no, no. They're just like everywhere. <gasps> but look, it's like we're making our own little stars. They look so cool, dude. Bruh, that is neat. Can we see that from like the big star map? Oh my. <laughs> okay. That looks uh weird. Super, super weird. Oh my gosh, this thing's going to be huge though. Oh my, they, they're literally gonna pass right by this planet. That's insane. This is insane. Did they stop firing though? Oh yeah, they're outside of uh, target range. So if they can't hit the orbit, they just kind of sit pretty and hang out. Okay, so next time we flip around the sun, all these will activate again and go blah, 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 all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. We got a couple firing. Okay. All right. Are they all gonna turn on at once? No, it's just that little group in there. They're all set to one orbit. So they're seeing it first. Cool. Ray transmission efficiency. Excellent. Uh, the ray receivers are how we get power from all of these solar sails. Oh uh, yeah, and slowly but surely, everything's all coming online. Oh, I love this. I wish these cannons had like a sound effect. That's the only thing, like literally anything. They're like dead silence. Like bruh, this is a rail gun shooting sails into space. How are you so quiet? You look so cool too, look at this, crazy. Okay, but are all of them activated now? Yes sir. Let's see the star map. <laughs> this does not look like the laser I'd envision. This is like a, just, I don't even know. It's like an orbital bombardment except just shooting wildly into space. Oh, but we're starting to see the swarms form. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what? Let's just let it run for a little bit and see what it ends up looking like. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wow, 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my, they're so close to the planet. Dude, talk about danger close. Whoa. I should have started this so, so much sooner. This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in a video game, quite literally. Like, satisfactory space elevator level of cool. Wow. Wow. And we can like fly through this too. Can we warp through it? Dude. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. This game, by the way, was made by like five people or something. Oh my gosh. How did they do this? This is phenomenal. This is absolutely phenomenal. And we haven't even started the proper sphere yet. But now there's nothing holding us back. We have our logistic systems that are infinitely expandable. We can do anything in scale to infinity. And this is just the beginning. However though, that is gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.